Pinkie Pie. I'm glad that I found you. Have you seen Apple Bloom anywhere? I got some chores for her to do. <laughs> nope, sorry, I uh, didn't see her. <laughs> Everything is totally fine here. <laughs> All right, but if you do see her, tell her that I'm looking for her. Uh, sure. Good luck finding her. I'm sure you can do it. Okay, she's gone. Thank you for letting us hide here. Big Sis knows pretty much everywhere else that I could hide. <laughs> no problem, Apple Bloom. Plus, she'd probably give me something ridiculous to do, like certain apple cores. Thanks for letting us build our second clubhouse here. Hey, girls, I just finished the pool on the third floor. Let's go. On my way. Now that's more like it. You know, I haven't cleaned up my mane in so long. It's actually kind of nice that the CMCs went in there and, you know, tidy things up. I hope they didn't get a hold of my secret stash of cupcake recipes. <laughs> or fan fictions. Hey, every pony, why don't you give me a smile? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Very good, Jackie. Your smile is so cute. Uh-uh. Decent, princess. Um, hmm. I I I'm sure that with some more practice, This is my smile. The smile I give before I attack and consume the love out of my prey. Isn't that what you wanted, little pink one? You know, you sure do have a lot of love to give. It's so... delicious. Oh, but don't you look relaxed. Pinky, what exactly do you think this place is? The spa, obviously. Really? Because it seems to me as though you think it's a spa or some... thing. <laughs> what, what part of this boutique makes you think it's a spa? I mean, sure, there are robes, but that's for something that's part of my fashion line, duh. I mean, yes, you get the same sort of reaction going through a, a spa as you do going through a boutique. You go in feeling horrible about yourself, and then you walk out with newfound confidence, but it's not the same thing. wrong, Twilight. A plot twist isn't a good way to make things more interesting. Pinkie Pie? No, seriously. You just look like you're in pain. Technically speaking, it's not wrong. It's just literal. Oh my god, I get the joke. <laughs> we did a really good job helping Dom and Tiara figure out what her true talent is. Maybe we should focus on stuff like that. Yeah! Oh. My. Gosh. Your cutie marks. They're amazing. Oh, Anything but this. When I said he wanted a cutie mark, I didn't mean like that. Oh man. Apple Bloom's cutie mark if I have to deal with Diamond Tiara. That's like the coolest face ever. Yours looks like she's giving you a raspberry on your butt. And Sweetie Bells just looks like she's posing for a selfie. Cutie Mark Crusaders Equestrian Loggers! How long will it take the Discovery Channel to get here? <laughs> <laughs> It was righty, loosey, lefty, tiny, right? La 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 A piñata? Aw, oh, it's better off with the cotton candy thing going around. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Candy Mark Crusader, a 
are white blah, blah, blah. Cutie ma, cutie ma. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, my apple bloom. Apples, apples, apples. Pinky, you're not supposed to avoid the ice water. I can't just turn off my pinky sense, Twilight. Did you see that one of Fluttershy that's been posted all over? It's a classic. <laughs> Why are we doing ice bucket challenges anyway? Isn't that so 2015? Welcome to the chamber of Madam Pinkie Pie. Do you want to know your future? You betcha. I see. I see. Money? But, but how? When? Don't know. I really don't. That's 50 bits, please. Hmm. What? I have balls and eye patches and things stashed all over Ponyville. They don't pay for themselves, Applejack. A uh, duh. There's a reason why Madam Pinkie Pie is never wrong. <laughs> Now pay up. Someday, my daughter, this will be yours. Ooh. You have inherited your father's hat. Well, you see, whenever I had made that deal to her, uh, I had actually owned the land, but you see, what had happened was, is, uh, Filthy Rich came up and he took everything, and all I really had to my name at the time was my hat. So I sold the farm, and I wanted to keep the hat because, you know, it's a really good piece of a... It, it, it's a really nice hat, and uh, when I died, I decided to give that to her because that's all I really had. I mean, uh, you know, it's a sad story, but, uh, I mean, it's a cool hat. Yeah, you. Pinky, how the hay are you breathing? Mmm! Mmm! Uh, beg your pardon? That just raises further questions! With your fancy... gills? That doesn't even make any sense! You're not a fish! You're not a sea pony! <laughs> Pinky, it's well known that you can break the fourth wall, but is that the same as breaking the fourth panel? It's a little more complicated than that, so let your Auntie Pinky explain it to you. I'm pretty sure I'm older than you. Right now, I'm simply breaking the fourth wall. And right now, you are breaking the fourth panel, and therefore breaking the fourth wall. See? Is that a brony? Why is it so close? Is it really? Is it a brownie? Oh, hi, brownie! I'm Pinkie Pie! Do you want to be friends? Twilight, why do you look so freaked out? This is so awesome! I'd like to be a tree. Trust me, kid. Being a tree isn't all that it's cracked up to be. <laughs> why, it leaves you with nothing to root for in life. <laughs> Uh, kid? Was it something I said? Then we kill them all. Yes. 
No! Oh, no, no. That is not how we do things in Equestria. Oh, fine. How does one do things in Equestria? We take their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and turn them into jelly and peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, now that is truly evil. Guess what, people? Pitch forgot to do the little improv at the end. Good job, him. And here I was thinking that I might not have to record this time. <sighs> There's just no rest for the magpie, is there? He gets an F for the day. And can be grounded with shining armor. Hmm, should I do something? I mean, I'm right here right now, so why not? But I can imagine what they will say. Thanks for totally not risking your life saving me, great immortal princess. Oh yes, thanks for saving us, but did you have to kill the bad guy? I'm not talking about moral implications, but why did you kill him so hard? There's pieces everywhere. Why did you let them destroy my house? I had most of my stuff in there. You could have stopped this, but thanks for saving me anyway. You should have let the true heroes handle that. True heroes like the police or doctors or teachers. Think of the children. Now I'll just call Twilight. You don't live to be as old as I am without learning a few tricks along the way. <laughs> Do you think Twilight Sparkle was my first prized pupil who would save the day? <laughs> Please. I've had so many over the years I can barely remember their names. Why else would I make all of these alicorns if not to help me out with all this stuff? <laughs> This is so nice! I haven't been to a picnic since I received my brother's wedding invitation. It's funny looking back, I was so upset, but now he's married and co-ruling the entire Crystal Empire with Cadence. What are the chances? Of all ponies in Equestria, he gets married to the greatest full sitter ever! Oh really? Best full sitter ever? Well did she ever put on a top-notch comedy show for you? Thank you for inviting us to lunch, Pinky. No, she didn't. But she also didn't need to. She was in control the whole time. It's such a nice day. It's a shame the others couldn't make it. You couldn't have been all that hard to keep in check. There was only one of you. Girls, don't fight about this, please. Yes, but I had more than enough magic burst to make up for it. You would have given up if you were my full sitter. If I were your full sitter, you would have had no problems learning the magic of friendship. Enough! Now you two apologize to each other and think about your friendship. Mm, I'm sorry, Pinky. I just don't know what got into me. I'm sorry, too. I was being a cotton-headed ninny-muggin. I'm sorry, too. I got a little emotional because I think maybe that... I might possibly be the best full sitter. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Fluttershy! <laughs> <laughs> On the other hoof, maybe you have a point. Don't look directly into it! You know, for being non-magical ponies, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, and I sure have a lot of magical properties. I mean, I've got my pinky scent, Rainbow's got her sonic ring boom, and Fluttershy has her stare. I mean, you know, there's nothing for Applejack, but still! Uh, Big Mac, are you sure we really need all that stuff? Yep. Are you sure you're strong enough to really pull all that stuff? Yep. Are you sure the wagon's strong enough to hold it all? <sighs> yep. Are you sure your theories about the paranormal activity and disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle are totally accurate? Don't mess with my theories, sis. <laughs> well, that was fun. Apple or not, I really had a good time with AJ and family. And, of course, I can't wait to develop all those precious memories. <laughs> that gag should be illegal. You know, it's been a while since I reminded the internet that Big Mac is, uh, he's mine. Yeah, Big Macintosh is mine. 
And I defy anyone who says otherwise! Okay, I get that some ponies were freaked out over the whole changeling invasion thing, but isn't this a bit much? Oh, don't be silly, Rainbow. It's only a poster. It's not as if she's actually watching you. Listen to your friend, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Even I can't possibly watch every pony at once. Uh... Did she... did she poot when I scared her like that? Oh, oh, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> oh, what did you eat? <laughs> We're being summoned to some new friendship problem! How exciting! No! I'm not going! I quit! But, Pinky, friendship, we have to. No! Everywhere we've been sent, I've had to eat some gross, rotten foods! It's not happening! No way, no how! Okay, we'll make Fluttershy eat the gross scones next time. Uh, no! No pony else shall suffer! In my place! The map must be destroyed! By the greater God! Maybe I should just have a Snicker bar. <laughs> I'm not me when I'm hungry. Especially when I'm hungry for sugar. So you bottled up all your anger? What else do you keep in a bottle that could attack Trixie? Just the usual. My greed, gluttony, sloth, pride, envy. And my lust. It's the pent-up stress of being Twilight's student. It's especially hard when your teacher is so... Hmm, inspiring. So that's why you make Trixie dress up like Twilight. And sleep in your bed. Tied up. You know, I'm beginning to wonder what you think of me, Starlight. <laughs> I am not just a replacement Twilight Sparkle. <coughs> I'm also still very sick. <laughs> the great and powerful Trixie is going to spread her germs all over Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> we'll see if the princess of friendship likes sharing her cold. <laughs> What the? <laughs> Squeak. Oh, this is so much fun. Unhand me, you ruffian! <clears throat> Excuse me, but would you kindly remove your finger? <laughs> <laughs> Stop! This isn't funny! <laughs> Yay, another booping comic. Y'all ain't gonna make me squeak, and you ain't laying one single paw on me. Huh. Hmm. No fire, you gosh darn <laughs> cheater! <laughs> what happened to nice Fluttershy? We want that Fluttershy back. You mean old Fluttershy? Old Fluttershy was weak. Old Fluttershy was helpless. New Fluttershy is great. New Fluttershy is powerful. What happened to old Fluttershy? She became the great and powerful new Fluttershy. Good, good. Let the self-importance flow through you. What? The great and powerful Trixie has many, many skills. One of them is training other ponies not to be such a doormat. You think Iron Will is the only one who can teach them? Huh? I know more about being assertive than any Iron Will Minotaur. Please. Ugh, disgusting! It's raw! Completely raw! <laughs> no wonder your restaurant is failing so bad! You're lucky the map summoned us here! 
Pinky, darling, it's celery. It's supposed to be raw. That doesn't mean anything, Rarity. Celery is the ingredient in a lot of cooked dishes. And why would a restaurant sell it all raw when I could just go and eat it raw on some like garden or farm? Technically speaking, we can eat the grass. Why do we need restaurants? Boulder wants to tell you he thinks you're beautiful and wants to know if you would go on a date with him. He's a rock, darling. Boulders have feelings too, you know. I'm sorry, Boulder. Well, there are more rocks in the sea. Maybe I can set you up with a nice pebble. Oh, oh, you'll sell the rock pouch to me? Yay! <laughs> no pony saw that! <laughs> Right? No pony? Crap happens in Manhattan. You just, you just, you never know. <gasps> Look at that hand stitched 10,000 thread count velvet lined rock pouch. Mod will love it. I need it. Oh no, the shop can't be closed. I have to get Mod the best psst present ever. I'm sorry. But I must give Maud that rock pouch! Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> I knew you'd love it. It was all worth it. You can bring my present to the police station. Rarity, we're going to break Pinky out of jail. Excuse me? <laughs> I have the worst track record ever at the Pony Police Station. Most of them are party-related. You know, and, and there, were, there was rumors going around about this fanfic cupcakes, and so you know, there was this big investigation, and Mr. and Mrs. Cake's basement was, like, scoured for evidence. It was, you know, it was crazy. But you know, who doesn't have a record these days? <laughs> I slept well. Spike, are you there? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Mama? My Celestia's beard, that's scary! Ah, Twilight, what's wrong? Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy you were small and cute! Uh... Twilight? Can I call you... Mama? No! More tea? Oh, no thanks. I think I've had enough. Well, anything else you want? More cookies or some other snacks? <laughs> well, now that you mention it, there is one little thing. Could you please take your paranoid friends away? They're starting to annoy me. Oh, you love that, right, Discord? I mean, honestly, we're in season six. Season? Six! Get over it already. I'm a good guy now. Whoa! What the? Dash! I came from the future to deliver a very important message! Alright. What is it? You're still awesome! <laughs> Was there ever any doubt?
That's how you make a carrot cake. Mm. Yeah, that's right, I did, Derpy. What are you gonna do? Tell me I'm trash? Say I suck at this? Tell me to quit my job forever? Because if so... Hey man, that's not very nice, you know? I, I try really hard at this kind of stuff. You get to say that to me. <laughs> Sugar Wop Rump! Oh gee, look at those amateur brats with their goofy embarrassing little secret clicky club handshake. It's so lame. Am I right? Well, um, <laughs> you see, Twilight was very young when we invented ours, <laughs> and I just went along with it because that's what good babysitters do. <laughs> I mean, you know, you believe me, right? Um, I'd like to be a tree. Simply fabulous, darling! Apples! I have to finish a report to the princess, summarizing all my other reports to the princess. <laughs> That's pretty much all our friends in a nutshell. <laughs> Isn't it so great how well I can mimic them? I have a Pinkie Pie. Your argument is invalid. Aww. <laughs> Oh, Pinkie Pie, you're so random. <laughs> and then I said oatmeal? Are you crazy? <laughs> Chocolate rain. I can feel it going through my veins. Chocolate rain. <laughs> Old internet memes. Uh. What Fluttershy needed was a hops to her Calvin, a Watson to her Holmes. And so, reluctantly, I did what had to be done. White grease paint, red blush powder, a purple suit, a green bow, and it did nothing until I smiled. <laughs> Smiling. Oh, this gives me a good idea. I can go scare the flames out of Spike. That'll be fun. I bet Rainbow would want to get in on that action. Rainbow! Rainbow! Howdy, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> nice hat. Thanks, Applejack. I got it from the Rainbow Falls Traders Exchange. Really? What did you trade it for? Oh, uh, nothing important. I'll bet no pony will miss it. Girls, have you seen Spike? I lost him since our trip from the Traders Exchange. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, come on, Applejack. You don't like Spike either. He has to be useful for something. A hat is worth more than Spike any day. Duh. Oh, come on, Pinky. It's not my fault that nobody likes me. Pinky made the right choice. No more spot. Yeehaw! Discord. What happened this time? Applejack doesn't appreciate my humor. Doesn't... Doesn't that hurt? Oh, please, Fluttershy. Save your sympathy for some pony who needs it. I assure you, I've endured far worse. <laughs> get it out, get it out, get it out. <laughs> a splinter? It's a big splinter. <laughs> I'm busy. Do it yourself. But it hurts when I snap. Ugh. 
Reform him, I said. We can use his magic for good, I said. Ugh, I should have just taken Luna's advice and left him in stone. He's been more trouble than he's worth. Why did Twilight have to give up the elements of harmony? Hey, Dashi! Look! I made myself a paper horn! <laughs> oh, Pinky! Learn much magic yet? <laughs> Silly Dashi! It's just paper! Yeah, I guess it was dumb of me to. So I can only do levitation! Ah! All I need is a pair of cardboard wings, and I could be a paper princess. Oh, I wonder what my princessly duties would be. Twilight sits around and does nothing. I could sit around and do nothing. I'm royal already. Hello there. My name is Pinkie Pie, and I will be your personal cheer nurse during your hospital stay. I have good I would guess so, yes. Why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> All I want is to spread some joy and happiness to the ponies who aren't going to live any longer than a couple of months! <laughs> hey, Pinky. Oh, hey, Twilight. I need to tell you something, but you have to Pinky promise not to tell any pony just yet. Sorry, Twilight. I don't do pinky promises anymore. You don't? This is about Applejack, isn't it? Applejack managed to get out of the promise because of a loophole. It shouldn't be that easy to get out of a pinky promise. So now I have a new system. And what would that... <coughs> uh, what is it? This is the pinky contract. 10,000 pages, size 3 font, designed to cover every possible way out of any promise. I wrote it myself, and then I had it checked by my lawyers to make sure there are no loops or holes anywhere to be found. Let's see Applejack get out of a promise now. Do you still want to tell me your secret, Twilight? I need you to sign here, here, date, initial here, social security number, home phone, cell phone, address, write out the Equestria Anthem, detail everything you've eaten beyond 8 p.m. last night, and now we can talk. <laughs> hey, every pony, come see who I found while traveling the multiverse. Pinkie Pie? Like the math symbol. Pie is equal to 3.141592653599. Okay, okay, we get it. Pinkie Pie? Mmm, smells good. I mean, at least it's not cupcakes. Punky Pie, rock on, every pony. Porky Pie, oh look how cute that little tuft of pink hair. <laughs> We're doomed. We're off to the market. See ya. I heard rumor that there's a pinky that stands on two hubs and has like fingers on her other two hubs, and she doesn't have magical properties like I do. Rumor though, right? Uh. Hey! Do you know why Discord doesn't like singing duets? Because he hates singing in harmony! Get it? Huh, Discord? You get it? Because you're the spirit of disharmony? <laughs> huh? Huh? You get it? Yes, Pinky, I get your joke. I'm too busy trying to be bored or something. I don't know. Leave me alone. I'm having a depressing moment. 
Oh, there's not enough Discord in Season 5, so I'm... I'm depressed. Yeah, sure, that's what it is. Whoa! This is the first edible thing I've ever made! But it feels like I'm missing something. <gasps> is it a baby? You don't have one yet. Oh, wait. How could you even have a baby? You don't have a cold friend either. <laughs> no, wait. Why, Rod? Don't cry. Aw, oh, come on. The cupcakes you made don't taste that bad. I'm going to die alone. If Hasbro would just get over themselves and admit that you and Bon Bon are a couple, then you wouldn't have to feel so alone. I mean, come on! Even the writers ship you two, and you're so adorable together! Just friends, my plank! Owie! Pinkie Pie, what happened to you? I was walking along the street, and I went to smell a bros. Uh, bros? What's a... Wait, wait, Pinkie, I think you mean a rose. There's no bee in Rose. There was in this one. <laughs> oh, come on, Twilight. You walked right into that one. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, oh, this really hurts, you know. Twilight, Twilight, I just discovered something amazing. I finally figured out why elephants paint their nails red. Pinkie Pie, I'm pretty sure elephants don't... So they can hide in strawberry patches! What? Pinkie, that's ridiculous! Elephants do not paint their nails to hide in strawberry patches. Oh, yeah? Have you ever seen an elephant in a strawberry patch? No, of course not. See? <laughs> it works! for the tea party, Pinky. I just had to. The last one was an eternity ago. It was yesterday. But are you sure we can let Angel and Gummy play together? Sure. What's the worst thing that could happen? You are fighting me not. Then I will do that Dash took last week. Oh, oh, let me see. Hey! I don't remember seeing that. Hmm, come to think of it, that's not my handwriting either. <gasps> I was framed! Somebody set me up! But, but, who could have done it? Hmm, maybe Dashie would know. She was there. Dashie! Oh, Dashie! All right, birthday festivities have settled down. Now for some alone time. Still not sure what the point is of these jeans that Twilight got me from the human world. They're a bit tight, despite being my size, but I appreciate the thought she put into it. Lovely gifts, but of course now for my favorite part. The cake! <laughs> oh, oh dear, I guess that was too much cake. I hope no pony saw that. <laughs> Not a word, Luna. We wouldn't dare tell any pony, Celestia. Why would we want to bring you such shame? We totally have not already sent a letter to Twilight Sparkle on the matter. 
I'm sure that she will get great pleasure in knowing that you have ruined her birthday present because of your unquenchable desire for cake. Seems totally legit, right? Well, this is where we say goodbye. You were really our craziest dog patient ever, and we are going to miss you so much. Aw, you're making me blush. <laughs> Once again, Spike messes up royally and ruins yet another pony's life. Why do they continually associate with that creature? He's really not that useful. Celestia, damn it! Why have I got no friends? Because you are a bitch. That punchline speaks for itself, don't you think? There's really not anything I can add to that that would make it funnier. Because Celestia's word is law. And all of you ponies will obey. Welcome back, my little ponies. I hope you had a nice lunch break. Mine was very nice. Open your arithmetic book. We'll do some problems. Huh. Is something wrong? Oh! <laughs> Oops. Apple Bloom, could you get this back to your brother? <laughs> Awkward. What's up with every pony trying to ship my brother with other ponies? I have to say, though, my favorite ship is Big Macintosh. Big Mac likes Magpie Pony. It's totally canon. Oh yeah, totally, totally canon. Come on, Marble. You really need to come out of your shell a bit more. And you know I can help. Just ask Fluttershy here. She used to be shy like you. But thanks to me, she's become a social butterfly. Ain't that right, sweetie? Oh, yes. Social butterfly. Oh yeah, Scootaloo? How 
exactly did you learn how to fly? Well, I just... Uh, shut up, Apple Bloom! Flutter shy. Do you... Do you love me? Huh. LOL, nope. Is this the part where I do stuff for the ending? Um, I need to say something funny. Oh, Discord, if only there was someone out there who would truly love you. No, Discord, we're not getting married. Go away. Nope, don't love you. It's not gonna happen. Nope. Paul, you fools! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My carrot patch! Meh. My is. I don't get it. <coughs> I should have stayed in Saudi Arabia. <coughs> what? Good as new. Now take Trixie to the spa. Ah, oh. uh, another unicorn's power. Ah! Oh, please don't. Huh? Hmm? Oh my, how embarrassing. Well, toodles. The great and powerful Trixie has magic. Get back here and steal it right now! Identifying Trixie. The great and powerful Trixie may or may not have paid her taxes since 2004. <laughs> it's quite sad, really, that the Pony Revenue Service can't figure out who is who. Maybe I can figure out a way of getting Twilight Sparkle to pay my next taxes. Greetings, every pony. I'm sorry to say that Twilight is too busy being a princess to be your friend now. So, I'm tutoring the great, powerful, and friendly Trixie to replace her. She will study the magic of friendship in place of your old friend. Not only that, but I discovered that Trixie is the seventh element of harmony. Super magic! Who needs that silly old Twilight Sparkle anymore? Fabulous! <laughs> Not me! Yeah, you rock! <sighs> Yay, Trixie! I should stop reading fan fiction before bed. Yeah, you rock! Ugh. I feel like one of those 90s commercials. <laughs> totally awesome, radical! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... Here you go! A half a dozen sweet rolls! I even put something special for you inside! <laughs> it's not the great and powerful Trixie's fault that she forgot to give back the melt to that annoying pink one. 
Besides, Twilight Sparkle gave her a new one. It's not like she'll miss it or anything. Everywhere I went, I was laughed at and ostracized. I even had to take a job on a rock farm just to earn a living. A fucking rock farm! Oh, and that reminds me. Pinkie Pie, before leaving the farm, your father asked me to give this to you. I think it's rash ointment. <gasps> Whoa! No, no, no! You are wrong! <laughs> this is just... 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 T -t toothpaste! Uh-huh! Toothpaste! <laughs> you know, I, I eat a lot of sweets, so my teeth need to stay, um, clean? Yeah! My, a gift for Trixie? Well, she is certainly entitled to a gift. That much is true. It reminds me most of you, Trixie. A rock? Why in the hay would such a worthless item remind you of the great and amazing Trixie? It's a pebble, not a rock. And it's the perfect representation of you. After all, Trixie, it is dull, unpolished, wizened, and a bit round. <sighs> that is an insult. I demand you take it back this instant. Wait, did any pony else see Freddy Fazbear in the background of the second panel? Why is no one freaking out? He kills! Hello? Is any pony even listening to me? This should be cause for concern! I got a present for my new best friend! The great and powerful Trixie digs this! It's perfect for my collection! You know me so well! I'm president of the anti-Twilight fan club, you see. <laughs> she might think that every pony just loves her, but <laughs> no, they don't. Would you like to be the vice president? The treasurer is Spike. He's the one who gets me all the dirt on Twilight. <laughs> Does any pony have a challenge for Trixie? I have one. Where are you? Trixie can't see you. Right here. <laughs> Your Discord! How did you escape? This is a webcomic. You should lighten up and not try to overthink things. What? Huh? <sighs> Just go with it. Besides, I have a challenge for the great and powerful Trixie. <laughs> what kind of challenge? I challenge you to devise an evil plan, one worthy of the name Discord. Why would you want to do a challenge like that? Oh, no reason. What are the stakes? What if Trixie fails to succeed? Then your soul will be mine. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> Can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> Uh, Trixie accepts your challenge only for the pleasure that will come from besting you. Throwing Equestria into chaos is simple. Make all of the sugar and flour disappear. Are you serious? That's all you've got? Ingredients? Think about it. No more flour and sugar means no more cakes. Zap apple jam, pies, candy, mmm, cupcakes. Bags of flour, muffins, although it is Colgate approved. That's really good. I like your plot. Hmm? Uh, scheme, rather. <laughs> although your backside is okay. Discord approved. <laughs> 
so Miss Trixie. The great and powerful, if you don't mind. Yeah, whatever. So tell me, Trixie, what have you been doing since Ponyville's incident? Ugh, what is the point of this? Making large rocks into smaller rocks? Who in the hoof cares about rocks this much? Oh, how I miss the sunlight. Ugh, these cups are just too small. I can barely feel my hooves. What is this? Ugh, I will not eat this. This is an outrage. Trixie demands to speak to the warden. Oh. <laughs> well, Trixie has been working for the government. <laughs> okay, then. And let me just point out that I was never late for my job there. <laughs> they were very, um, strict about punctuality. You know, because I'm just that good of an employee. So what do you think? Are you ready to hire me as an x-ray technician? I think this is where Trixie's calling really was all along. The great and powerful Trixie will be able to tell ponies what's wrong with them. It's perfect. We'll start with Twilight Sparkle. The great and powerful Trixie has come to politely request a friendly rematch with Twilight Sparkle. Trixie will be on her way. If I had gotten to her before the end of Season 3, then maybe I would have had a chance. But no, now she has to be a princess. Don't worry, though. <laughs> I get my revenge in a little series called Princess Trixie Sparkle. Then he said I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's that shake you wanted. Why, thank you, my acquaintance. So, Snails and I were gonna go rollerblading. Hmm? And we were wondering if you wanted to come. Enough! What? You are an acquaintance. You may do me favors and make me laugh from time to time. But that is as far as our relationship goes. Yeah, you know, I tried to get Pitch to do a Snip's voice, but he was like, No, Mag, I can't do it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and there's also a part in there where she's supposed to, uh, raspberry. But, uh, I don't raspberry. Some people don't know why. Some do. Guess for the people who don't, it's a mystery. The things I've done, I did because I was jealous of Twilight. She's just the best at everything, and I wanted to beat her at something. The best at everything? <laughs> I thought you were doing a magic show, not a comedy show. I can help you with that in no time. Say what now? Just put this on your flank and boom, you'll have Twilight's powers. What? Is that... but how? <laughs> Ask me no questions, and I won't tell you lies. That doesn't really answer. I said, ask me no questions. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Suddenly scary moment from Starlight. Right. You know, maybe we shouldn't just be, um, jumping into this friendship all willy-nilly. <laughs> I don't know anything about you. For example, if you are, in fact, evil, you know, like pretending to be reformed, <laughs> like me. I, I mean, um, <clears throat> I, I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> oh, gosh, does Trixie's behind really look that large? I'm appalled, really. Why, well, I rather like the view, ma'am. It's a shame you have to sit on something so pretty. Uh, hmm. gonna get it tonight. Brayburn's getting. What? How dare you stop the great and powerful 
Trixie's team from participating in these foolish games. Listen, Miss Powerful, first, you never formally signed up your team. You just showed up today demanding to participate. Second, I doubt you are a representative from any known nation. Also, this so-called map of your kingdom, it looks shopped. And third, uh, we suspect your team has been using forbidden substances. It's a world of magic, a world of me. It's a world of amazing, spectacular feats. So come one and come all, I am sure to enthrall. It's a tricksy world after all. Trust me, Trixie World is a thing.